Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corley with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our Quick Shoot series and is intended to aid the Dreamcast and gaming community. The Sega Dreamcast in high definition. Wouldn't you like to see it? I know I'd like to see it. So, fortunately, Sega kind of gave us the option to see that. They gave us the VGA adapter for the Sega Dreamcast. Now, granted, this one's by performance, but I think Sega made their own. Unfortunately, I actually don't have that one, but whatever. I've shown it off, like I said, and what it does, in case anyone doesn't want to go watch that video and find out, is it uh, basically takes the Dreamcast, which outputs in a 480i video signal, and gives you a 480p signal. And it works on, like, almost every game. There's only like 20 games, maybe 30 at the most, worldwide, that do not work with this thing. I cannot stress enough how much you need to buy this if you do not have it. Because most of you are probably using uh, composite cables, which are the uh, red, white, and yellow. Some of you out there were smart enough to use the S-Video with the red and white for audio, and just not use this. And then a few of you, for some reason, are using RF, which... I don't know how you know how to use a computer if you're still using RF, but whatever. Um, if you can't, you please don't use composite. It's just so hideous. And we all have HDTVs now. We can all use this thing. Come on. If you can't, if you can't use this, then try S Video. Or, but please do your best to get a VGA box for your Dreamcast. You know, love it. Come on, love me. All right. Anyway, so you have this thing, and like I said, it does 40p, which is nice. But what if you want to go nicer? I did that before. I got this thing and I showed a video off about this. This um, will basically, you know, you connect your VGA adapter to this and this will output through component cables, which are the, again, red and white for audio, and then red, blue, and green for the video. This would give you uh, 720p and 1080i outputs. Uh, I always used it at 720p because I never really liked the way it did 1080i. But it basically just takes the 480p signal and then outputs it through a different, you know, connection, basically, and upscales the image a little bit. Um, it's, it's nice, it's not amazing. It, it was definitely better than this, but it, I think we can go better. So, I decided to go ahead and get uh, this thing. This is a box that is basically a VGA adapter, uh, VGA to HDMI adapter. I would like to see the Dreamcast in HDMI. I know you do, because you clicked on the video, and it was in the title, wasn't it? Um, so, I'm assuming that if you're watching this, this must have worked out, because I haven't tested this. It's sealed, as you can see. I don't know. This could suck. But if you're watching it, this turned out kind of well. So, yay. I'm glad it worked out. But um, what, what you're going to do, in the end, is you're going to plug this thing, the VGA adapter, well, okay, you plug it into the back of the Dreamcast, let's just be clear about that so people understand, because you'd be surprised the number of comments I get about people being confused about this. Um, you plug that into the Dreamcast. Dreamcast's work is done. What you do at this point is you take, um, this has a signal out cable and an audio out cable, and they will feed into this thing. And this thing will feed into your TV, okay? Now... You can't, I've, I've had this question before with this thing, and I want to stress this now. You can't just buy this, and you can't just buy this. These will not connect to this without this. I've had people be like, can I just get this thing? I can't find it. Then I'll just, it'll just magic. No, you need this too. I, I, I don't know why people haven't figured this out yet, but I swear to you, you need this for it to connect to these, okay? Yay. Um... So, yeah, it'll connect to this, and then it'll give me a 1080p signal. Now, I want to make this clear as well, because, again, I don't want to get flack for this like I did last time. I said before, this thing will upscale to 720p, and I also said it's not true 720p. Same is true here. This will upscale to 1080p. It will not be true 1080p. It will be 480p cleaned up to 1080p, upscaled. All right, so it's not true, true high definition. I know, I understand, and I'm telling you. Um, I will include. I got. A, I got this uh, at a store for 90 bucks, which was not bad considering they usually sell for like 150, 100, you know, on the low end. So 90 bucks wasn't bad. So hopefully it doesn't suck. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this here. Or wait, yeah, no, I'm yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this first. Now, of course, they've sealed it in this type of plastic that is harder than adamantium, which is annoying, because these things, like, hurt. 
All right. Cut around the edges in case there's like valuable, unlikely, but in case there's valuable information inside. Who knows what their return policy is if I need to do that. Oh, you're not allowed to have damaged the plastic part. Plastic is very expensive. These things are, like, they obviously do this so that you can't return it. I mean, like, there's no other excuse to seal it in such unbelievably painful and thick plastic. Look at that. That was a nice little perfect slice there. I could kill somebody with that. All right, so, you open this up, and I spill it everywhere. Um, yeah, whatever. Now, here's our little box. And it, fortunately, it comes with an HDMI cable, which is a nice little bonus. So let me just you know, keep the instructions there. I don't need them. And I'll just get rid of all this. And there they go on the floor. So uh, we have the HDMI cable here. And we open that up. We have our little box. The box has a nice texture to it, which is, I guess, cool. Um, and these are the audio in, so that's audio out. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect it here uh, for video and here for the audio. Now you'll notice that it has a USB port. Why does it have a USB port? Well, that's just for power. Uh, it doesn't actually require a third, uh, a third spot for power. Uh, it can just connect to anything that has USB. Now this is designed for laptops. That's why this makes sense. Um, unfortunately the Dreamcast has no USB port. So um, you're going to need an adapter like this. This one, I believe, came from an iPhone or an iPod. I actually didn't buy this. I found this in a hotel in Canada. It was just sitting there in a plug, and I was like, I mean, an outlet. And I was like, yeah, yeah I'll take that. Why not? And so now I'll have power. And uh, once I connect, well, you know, it'll go in there, and it'll plug in the TV. And then we'll have our Dreamcast running, theoretically, in full 1080p. Um, now, this is what I've learned from reviews on this thing, and I'll just tell you now is that it has the option to automatically scan for resolutions or you can switch it over to manual and set the resolutions yourself. My understanding is you could, running it, you could run it at its original resolution if you want or you can upscale it. I'm of course going to upscale it because I don't really see the point in not doing that. But uh, yeah, so this supports uh, 60 hertz. By the way, I, I do know that this is only useful for Americans and Canadians. If I'm sorry, European friends, Australian friends, Asian friends, all over the world. If you're not American or Canadian, there's no real reason for you to care about this. Although, I, I'm under the impression that they do have an international version that would work worldwide, or so at Lona claims. I kept watching reviews on this because I really wanted to know if this was going to suck or not. Now, I will show you video of this thing functioning, and I'll even compare it to a video of just the VGA box without this thing attached. However, I cannot capture video to my computer through a VGA signal or an HDMI signal. This is why I bought the component thing in the first place. I wanted to be able to connect this, this end to my computer so that I could get clean, high definition, raw Dreamcast footage or game footage in general. That works with component, but it does not work with VGA and it does not work with HDMI. Maybe eventually they'll have like a little box that will be able to do that and I will get that little box. But until then, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to aim my camera at the television. I know, I know that's gonna suck, I'm sorry. You'll have to, ju I'll just look at it and I'll tell you what I'm seeing. You guys can look, it's whatever you make out, that's great. I'm sorry that my camera sucks, bad camera. But um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to show you, what else, Shenmue. So here we go. Okay guys, so this is uh, the game, this is Shenmue, and I, like I said, I apologize for the fact that I had to do this on a camera. I'm really sorry, I know that must really suck, but let's try to get through it. Okay, so this is the game running on just the standard VGA box, and here I'll show you the info tab in the upper left of my TV. See, it's running 640 by 480. It's 480p. Um, yeah, so those are the settings that I'm using. And this will just give you a basic idea of what the picture looks like at 480p, standard VGA. Yes, Ine-san. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over. Okay, so we are back, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you, yeah, on my TV, 1920 by 1080p. So it is running on the HDMI cable through that box. Um, my impressions. Colors are definitely better. Uh, the picture in general is better. It's not holy crap amazing, 
which is fine. I didn't really expect it to be. Um, it's good. It does not in any way seem to degrade, which is always a plus, because that's one of the, you know, the you know, worries when you get little boxes like this is that they're going to degrade. Uh, but it doesn't seem to really do that, and that, that's good. Um, this is a, to me, honestly, this purchase comes off like a little bit more of a convenience purchase. Like if you don't have a VGA port and you want to play the games in HD, I don't know how many of you who have VGA ports need to run out and buy this thing. I would if it was like under 50, but it's, you know, it averages about 120. I got it for 90. I don't regret it. I would have liked to have gotten it for a little bit less. But I do not regret it. So, you know, overall, I'd say get it if you're hardcore or if you don't have an alternative to play with VGA. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad, and I'm, I'm happy to have it. So, Dreamcast in HD, awesome. And, of course, the man, the, the legend, the freaking god, Ryo Hazuki. Sega, I beg you. Shenmue 3, please. That guy 3... Uh, you know, it's Ryo Hazuki, I know, not Shenmue. Ryo Hazuki, in the third game, Shenmue 3, please. I'll even take Fukusan Adventure, just give us something, please! Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe if you so desire. However, we'd really appreciate it if you'd check out our other videos that are of a higher production caliber. Thank you.